Welcome to Adventures of Kendall. Today, we have a special two-parter episode on our hands. It's about the legendary Yosemite Valley Railroad, a subject that I've always wanted to talk about on this show. I have particular fondness for this little railroad because of my family connection. My grandma's great uncle, O.W. Lamer, was the first general manager of this railroad. There was even a spur line named after him. Now we're only going as far as from Merced to Bagby in part one. Part two, we're going from Bagby to El Portal. Now get ready to explore the remains of this legendary railroad as we check out the Yosemite Valley Railroad. I'm here at the Merced Railroad Station where our journey on the Yosemite Valley Railroad shall begin. Here at this station, passengers would transfer from the Southern Pacific trains to the trains bound for Yosemite Valley. But before we explore the remains of the Yosemite Valley Railroad, let's have a mini history lesson about the line. Even after the Yosemite Grant was signed by Abraham Lincoln on June 30th, 1864, getting into Yosemite Valley was not a wonderful experience. Even after 1869, when the Transcontinental Railroad was completed, people from all over the United States, especially from the East Coast, would travel by train to the small town of Merced, California to get on stagecoaches bound for the valley. Up to 1903, going to Yosemite was something only the wealthy can do. But after Teddy Roosevelt's visit to the park with John Muir and the establishment of the national park system, it was time for more people to come to the park and a new solution was needed. And in 1906, at the years of planning and funding, that solution had arrived. The Yosemite Valley Railroad was a little short line railroad within the state of California. It operated from 1907 to 1945. While it was primarily built to take passengers to Yosemite National Park, the railroad also hauled logs from the Yosemite Sugar Pine Company and the Yosemite Portland Cement Company. Our journey is off to a great start. See these rails in the ground? They're the last remaining sections of the YVRR in Merced. Now that we have boarded our Yosemite Valley train, let's get going. Our train will make a hard right turn onto R Street, where we will come upon a very familiar scene. Do you recognize this picture? Why yes, it's a picture of O.W. Lamer with the Yosemite Valley Railroad Station. Oliver Wendell Lamer came to work for the Yosemite Valley Railroad as a superintendent in 1906. After changing positions from superintendent to general manager, Lamer stayed with the railroad until 1920 when he resigned and moved to Alhambra with his family. The coach he was standing next to, Observation 330, is now lovingly restored at the Niles Canyon Railway in Sonoma, California. The depot was built in 1907 and was destroyed as part of a fire training exercise in October 1968. A little further down R Street would have been the Yosemite Valley Railroad Yard and Roundhouse. Today, it is now the site of Fremont Elementary School. I'm at the corner of R and 20th Street. Over here in this schoolyard was once the roundhouse and yard facilities of the Yosemite Valley Railroad. The yard had everything the railroad would need. A roundhouse to maintain all the steam locomotives, a turntable to turn the locomotives, and storage tracks for the coaches, freight cars, and the occasional dead locomotive. Following R Street, the train will chug its way through town. Along the way, it will cross Bear Creek. The remains of the bridge that once stood here are still in the water. Leaving Merced, the Snelling Highway parallels the remains of the Yosemite Valley Railroad. This includes the remains of this bridge at Eatondale Creek. Beautiful, isn't it? Continuing on our way, we make our first stop. Snelling, California. I'm here in Snelling, one of the many stops along the Yosemite Valley Railroad, and this is their courthouse. It was the first one to be built in the county in 1857. Originally named Snelling Ranch, Due to the post office being opened in 1853, the town was once the county seat of Merced County from 1857 to 1872. This included a courthouse that was built in 1857 
and used until the 1990s. It is now a rare surviving example of an early California courthouse. Today, Snelling is a small, charming little community. And now we'll travel six miles to our next destination, the lumber town of Merced Falls. Here at Merced Falls, the Yosemite Valley Railroad made a stop here at the big lumber yard and lumber mill. As you can see, there are a lot of remains of it out here. The lumber brought here to Merced Falls would have come from the Yosemite Sugar Pine, a lumber company that we'll get to in part two. Continuing out of Merced Falls, we start to climb up the grade and get a great view of the Merced River. Now we have arrived at the new Eschecker Dam, where more bits of the YVRR can be seen alongside the road. Right here was the original main line for the Yosemite Valley Railroad. When the dam from Lake McClure was being built, they had to build a new line, which is above me. And right about here is one of the tunnels they made for the railroad. This line relocation also include bridges or trestles along the way, the remains of which are still around today. Here's an example of one trestle with a bit of the timber left. We've seen the remains of that trestle. Now let's check out the remains of this tunnel. Here is the tunnel from the 1925 line relocation. This is the other end of the tunnel, as you can see. It's quite huge. And from what I've been told, there's another tunnel way over there, but we will not visit that today. Due to the construction of the Exchequer Dam and the subsequent flooding of Lake McClure, the railroad had to be rerouted. This includes building a brand new bridge. Barrett Bridge was the tallest railroad bridge in the world at the time. Today, the remains of Barrett Bridge are underwater, but when it's drought season, the concrete pillars and a bit of the steel of the bridge can be seen. Continuing along our journey, we'll head to our final stop for this trip, Bagby, California. Or at least the remains of the town of Bagby. I'm at the remnants of the Yosemite Valley Railroad Bridge entering Bagby. The town of Bagby will be that way. And while looking around, little bits and pieces of history were in the ground, and this is one of them. I'll share you the rest when we get back to the studio. I'm here at the former town of Bagby. The railroad would have come right through and over there. See the ledge of it. You see some nice foundations of buildings. In the old historical photos, there'll be a lot of things going on here. Like right behind me would have been the train depot. And over here would have been, I guess, a few stores, houses. And over here, remember this foundation was a ferry, which is really cool to know while coming here. Yes, sir, the town side of Bagby is very fascinating. But now, we must head back to the studio. All aboard! Did you enjoy our time exploring the remains of this little railroad? I did, especially this cool stuff I found. Like this nut, this iron ring, this bolt, which I think is from the railroad, this rusty nail, and this flat plate. All this cool stuff I found while exploring Bagby. I enjoy talking about this little railroad, and I hope you're ready for part two, because I'm excited to do so. Well, that's all the time here on Adventures of Kendall. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world. Thank you.